Hello and welcome to episode 144 in the Data Pack tutorial series for version 1.2, 1.4. Today we're going to be adding our own custom sounds, just like this one. Hello, and now it's really me. That was my custom sound. I have it in a little block just in front of me. There we go. Playing my custom dot test sound. Um, since we're playing sounds, we can't play around with them. We want. We can change the pitch. Well, fine if you want to sound like a squeaky little uh, munchkin or something. Um, but basically, that is the idea. We're going to get our own sound. We're going to convert it into the Minecraft format. And then we're going to make it so we can play it anywhere in the map. Okay, let's get on and build it now. Okay, let's have a little look at how we're doing it. Now, I do have a data pack. But my data pack is literally just playing the sound custom test, because that's what I've called it. That's it. It's just really a way I can upload it to Planet Minecraft and attach the resource pack. So we'll ignore that. And if we look in my command block, we'll see we were playing the sound custom test. Okay. Now let's look at the resource pack. So if we opened up the pack folder, uh, the resource pack folder, we would find here, my resource pack. And we'll go in there and we'll go into assets and we'll go into my namespace and into sounds. And, and then I call, I call this directory custom. Now your namespace can be whatever you like, but I think this folder does have to be called sounds. And then we have custom and in here is test sound. And that was my introduction. Hello. Welcome to episode 144. Now, how did I make it? I recorded that using audacity which is free to download and then i saved it which saves it as an mp3 file and then i took that mp3 file and took it to convertio or conversio and i used it to convert to a dot og vorbis which i think is the default it goes for but this codec must say vorbis Otherwise, Minecraft won't like it. So I chose my file, my MP3 file. I converted it. I downloaded my new file, which I've just converted. And I saved that into my namespace, sounds, custom. There it is. Now, we can't use it yet. It's in the resource pack, but Minecraft doesn't really know it's there. So we have to tell Minecraft it exists. So if we go back to assets and into the Minecraft namespace, we have a sounds.json. So what we need to do is put it in there. So we have nothing in there at the moment. If I do a reload of the resource pack, and let's just check my pack is, it is there, okay. Back to game, and we call it custom.txt. So if I do play sound, cust nothing's coming up, okay. So let's fill in this sounds.json, right. Let's open and close some curlies, and let's, Give it a name. This is the name we're going to use in the play sound command. Remember, mine was custom test. So let's try um, Fernal device is sound. And then open and close some curlies. Open and close curlies. And in there, we'll have some sounds, which is going to be a list. Doesn't, <laughs> why did you do it like that, you strange thing? Have two of those, please. It's going to be a list. Inside sounds, we're going to have my namespace, RP sound. Oh, I see why it's done that. Look, I've missed a, I missed off one of the speech marks. There we go. RP sound. And it was in the directory sounds, custom, test, sound was its name. Why are you unhappy? Do we need to give it a dot? We call it ID sound. I don't know why that's unhappy. It looks right to me. But it, this is a warning from Sublime. Uh, okay, maybe we need RP sound should not close there. There we go. That's looking a little better. Custom dot test sound. 
Inside my namespace, which ends with a colon, yeah. Then we go into the sounds directory. Then we go into the custom directory. Then we play test sound. Okay. Right, now we just need to work out why are these square brackets unhappy? Well, let's just try saving it and ignore Sublime Text and see <laughs> if it works anyway. Oh, we called it ID this time, not custom. Not there. What have I done wrong? Sound. Here we go. Is it this colon? Should go there. Well, that was an effort, wasn't it? Okay, so we just made a silly mistake. So we have ID sound inside speech marks with a colon, open up the curly brackets, we have sounds, and then a colon. Okay, so that is our list of sounds. Let's save that, let's shrink it down a bit, there we go. Let's do texture pack reload. It's always good to make some mistakes, helps you learn. Um, and I certainly make a lot. Let's try play sound, and let's try ID, there it is, there's my sound, okay. Well, I suppose we better listen to the intro again just to check it's working, but let's let's at least speed it up by speeding up its pitch. Put it up to two again. Right, that seemed to work. Okay, right. So you've got it working. There we go. You've got your sounds. No problem. All done. But what if you want to add more than one sound? So you can go back to your namespace sounds and then your directory i chose custom and put all your sounds in here so that's where you're going to, that's why i'm going to put my sounds to keep them tidy and then in our sounds.json now it looks like you could probably just say oh that's all right i'll add it here like this test sound two now what that's going to do is i'm going to say play the sound ID sound and it's going to say yeah all right and it's going to come in here and it's going to pick one of these at random okay which isn't really what we want well it might be what you want you might want to say well I want a bit of randomization each time um, which is very useful but if you want actually to have a separate sound then what we're going to have to do is we keep that one like that now if I run ID sound it will only play that sound. That's cool. But let's copy this here. And we'll make another one. And we'll say ID uh, computer. And that will play the sound. Well, actually, let's play the same sound. Well, you, you, would, you would put that computer. And then in here... Let's do test sound. Let's just copy and paste that. And we'll call this one computer. Now, obviously, it's playing the same sounds. But now we can see we can run ID sound and it will play test sound. Or we can run ID computer and it will play computer. Let's just do a little check to see if we can play computer sound and it will still give us our intro. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so that's probably still going to give us our intro. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do say that um, when you listen back to your own voice, it sounds strange. It's certainly true in this case. Okay. Um, so, we've got play one specific sound. If I type in ID sound, if I add an extra sound in there, and I type in ID sound, so let's take computer. Just to reiterate, okay, last one doesn't have a comma, all the others do. So now if I type in ID sound, it's going to pick one of these two sounds at random. And I think that is about it. I don't think I need to waffle on anymore, really. We should be job done. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.